What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode on EI Entertainment Studios. Back at it with another video. Wow, this is very interesting. So, I'm sure most of you guys already know about this. A new TV series has been announced for Godzilla and the MonsterVerse. And quite frankly, that's really big news. Now, the question for me is... Is this... A outcome because the movies didn't do so well and they want to change it to like a, a TV show or I'm not really sure I'm not really sure the thinking behind this but what I do know for sure is this TV show opens an opportunity that most of us have been waiting for as I I'm gonna talk about in this video again I'm not sure if they're gonna do another movie for Godzilla, you know, in the sense of Warner Bros. and uh, Legendary, it's possible, or it's possible they want to fully change this to a TV show. And quite frankly, I don't have a problem with that. I think TV shows are very interesting, and quite frankly, most popular uh, uh, entertainment venues are TV shows now, like Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff, right? So it definitely gets a lot of traffic in. Now, the reason why this video is being made is because the TV show is easy to get copyrights in versus a movie. So for example, Destroyer, right? We've all wanted to see Destroyer in a Godzilla film. And there have been some allusions to Destroyer in the MonsterVerse films. I'll give you an example. Uh, in Godzilla King of the Monsters, they use the Oxygen Destroyer. Well, that is literally a foreshadow and an allusion to who? Destroyer, because Destroyer was born because of the Oxygen Destroyer in the original series from Toho. And the, the question is, is this TV series going to include Toho monsters that we've all been wanting? Destroyer, Biolante, um, I mean the list goes on, right? Mm, older, like different variations of Rodan different variations of Mothra. Is it possible we might see an appearance of Megalon? Like, those are the questions. But the biggest question and the biggest idea is Destroyer. And I believe this TV series will have a venue uh, of somehow convincing Toho to give Warner Brothers and Legendary the license to use uh, Destroya in this series, and I think that's probably going to happen. I don't necessarily believe um, that this series will do good if it were to rely on new uh, kaiju. Not saying that new kaiju isn't cool, or I'm not trying to say that, but what I'm trying to say is using a well-known name is better. And it's going to attract more hardcore Godzilla fans. Because I know out there that there are Godzilla fans who absolutely are disgusted at the MonsterVerse. And there are fans who love the MonsterVerse because they're purists. And there's just, you know, regular fans who enjoy any Godzilla content. But for the purist, they're going to want to see a Japanese kaiju. Most, you know, frequently. To keep them hooked on the show. When it comes to my opinion, quite frankly, I'm one of those people that I'll enjoy anything as long as you give me Godzilla. I think the MonsterVerse is very well done. I, I do enjoy it, although I obviously do prefer the Japanese films over the American films. For example, I believe Shin Godzilla, personal opinion, was better than all the MonsterVerse movies combined. Because the 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 message that was being tackled in Shin Godzilla about the corruption and the government and how they responded to disasters and just the political chaos was absolutely beautiful and it was portrayed as the um, the outcome of being irresponsible and politically you know um, politically charged to make decisions and being overcomplicated and putting you know, all this extra stuff, Godzilla was the outcome. And it was, quite frankly, it was a, it was a masterpiece. And there's no, um, uh, you know, there's no um, doubt why it won an award, or I don't know how many awards it won, but I know it won an award, which it deserves it. Quite frankly, it really does deserve it. So, 
with the Monsterverse films, there were more, except for uh, Godzilla 2014. Godzilla 2014 was beautiful. It was dark, it captured Godzilla beautifully, they teased you. A lot of people complained about teasing uh, of Godzilla, how we didn't see him as much, but I actually liked that a lot. Uh, I think it kind of kept you on your toes for every time Godzilla appeared, you were on your toes. Versus him always appearing like, oh hey look, it's Godzilla, you know? So I did really appreciate that, but as the movies went on, and it went downhill after Godzilla King of the Monsters. Because, you know, it didn't do too well in the box office. I guess Warner Brothers or, you know, Legendary, they got a little bit sad about it. You know, the confidence kind of fell down. Um, Rotten Tomatoes, you know, really just destroyed the film. It didn't make a lot of money. I think it barely, like, you know, barely made a profit or something like that. But uh, Godzilla vs. Kong could have been so much more better. Um, you know, in uh, Kong Skull Island, when they teased... Oh, by the way, Kong Skull Island was a beautiful movie, by the way. I really enjoyed Kong Skull Island. When they teased Godzilla vs. Kong, I really believed they were going to go deep into kaiju mythology. They did touch on it in the film, but I truly believed they were going to go very deep in monster mythology and create these interesting stories, backstories, and then, I don't know, they didn't do that. There was really no story to Godzilla vs. Kong. And there was a very basic story, most of it was just a monster mashup, it was an arcade game. And I did, I was not too happy with that. But overall it was a cool movie, you know. It was a fan service. But if Godzilla King of the Monsters did make more money, uh, we would have seen a completely different Godzilla vs. Kong, I promise you. A completely different Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, going from that, I think, from what I'm understanding, is we're no longer, most probably no longer going to see uh, Godzilla movies from the American. We might. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm seeing. And we're going to go to full-time uh, TV show, which I'm still okay with. And the amazing news is that it's going to open the venue for more kaiju, um, Japanese kaiju. And with that being said, I really believe this is the gateway to Destroya, and this could be really badass. I mean, putting you know the budget that these American studios have with a TV series, this could be incredible. So I'm looking forward to it. I want to hear your thoughts on it. If this, you think this is gonna be basically be a gateway to these new kaiju's, and for uh, Japanese kaiju to be introduced again to the films. Or I should say the short, uh, the short episodes, or however long they're going to be, how many seasons, I don't know. But I do hope that it's going to be accessible. I know it's going to be on some select providers. Um, uh, I don't know if it's going to be more open wide. It'll be really, really cool. I, I will tell you this, though. If it does get accepted on Netflix, this is going to be a hit. I'm telling you right now. Netflix is by far the biggest streamer. If this gets hit on Netflix, this is going all-time high. I promise you that. But anyways, that, these were just my thoughts on it and just kind of sharing my opinion on this whole sh you know, show thing. Again, we don't know too much about it. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if it continues, if it does well. I believe it will do well. Uh, and it depends on the marketing. If the marketing is done well, if it's on the good providers, then it will do well. If it's not just restricted to only, let's say, like HBO people or restricted to only Apple TV people, but it's like on almost all the providers that's when we could see some good numbers in this show yeah so I but I do believe the biggest question I keep on repeating it that's, that's the theme of the video but I really want to get it out there that I believe that Destroya will be in this show anyways thank you so much for watching guys and as always have a great and amazing day thank you so much for watching